Welcome to Gunther Tutorials. Today we build a new styled house. So we use the hay blocks for a roof. And look at this. I think this is rather nice for a farmer house and such uh, such kind of stuff. So for lower people, wealth people, yeah, that 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 point of people will use such houses, and it's really medieval. And yeah, maybe you can use it some sort of a farmhouse, maybe surrounded by fields, or whatever you like. This one could be some barn thing. Yeah, and maybe some more decorations and it will be really nice. But I'll just show you the basic design here, so what you can do with this, with this hay, with these hay blocks. And yeah, I would say enough set. Just jump to our tutorial place and start continue with uh, start with the build. So first of all, we have to find a free, uh, free spot. That seems pretty nice here. Okay. So what do we need? We need oak wood for the timber things, then cobblestone for the walls, and yeah, maybe first of all the layout. So, um, let's start here. So this will be the first corner. Then you count up to a distance of three. Then one more time to a distance of three. Here you place a block in the front. Then you can turn around, count up to a distance of five. One, two, three, four, five, right? Turn around and then uh, complete this area. So that's the first uh, thing of the house. Then you have uh, this small yes, connection between the buildings that's made exactly at this point. So here you count up to a distance of four. Then you have this barn thing. So you start here, count up to a distance of one here in between. Then you turn around, make an offset of one and yeah, place it like this, then a distance of 3 in between. Uh, turn around, place the block here. And then you do whatever is... Ah, oh, not exactly. Count up to a distance of 3 here. Then one more time, 3. Turning around. Then 3. And 1. So, uh, let's see. That's the layout for our house. You got it? Well. Then we can start building it. Great. So uh, first of all we increase our timbers here to a hit level of 5 or uh, 4 as usual. So it's basic thing at that point. And what else we do is that we now go at the fourth layer and surround the thing by one row. So you get a bit bigger in the first floor. So the area is a bit bigger in the first floor. This is done all around the first house. So at these corner things, uh, you make it like this, so that the uh, blocks are straight upwards. Here you do uh, this corner, you do the very same, and yeah, this is done in every corner in the same way. So here one more time. Um, great. Here you do the very same. So we build it up to a height level of 4. Um, let me see that. So it should look like this, yes. So here you can make uh, small adjustments. You could build this part of the uh, building one block here, then it is a bit more symmetric or you can leave it in this way. That's that's up to you, Where you how you like it the most. So then you build it like this and then you just connect it in a very usual way. And afterwards we come to the yeah here the connection is missing so it's like this this one is 
then not need it anymore. And then we can come to the wall. So here is one of my entrance areas. So I'll leave a block out for the door. Here we just built a normal windows right in this spot. At the back here is a rather big window, so uh, not at all, just two smaller windows on each side. Then here we have one more smaller window. Okay, that's the basic house, so the, the main building. For the other parts we use um, spruce wood for the walls in the first floor. And here is a rather small window. Here's, this, here's the same, so a window with a size of 2. And at these spots you just place normal blanks. Here is one more entrance to the barn. Here you can leave a uh, place out for a window, just in case. And here at the back, yeah, one more window. Okay, that's this part. Then we go forward to the first floor. For this, we just expand these uh, timbers up to hit level of 4, as usual, and connect them. So then this is the next pillar. So you have here a distance of 4 in between if you want to know it. Then you connect them here in the middle. Here in the middle you have a distance with 3 blocks. And on this side it's also a distance of 4 in between. Okay, that's the second at uh, the first floor for this building and yeah just we just insert here planks for the walls. Ah does anybody of you know this arrow? You maybe hear it, there's no Minecraft sound. I had it today the first time and I don't know to fix it and there seems no easy fix for it. So if you have any idea just leave a comment about it would be glad to hear it, because without sound it's sucking a bit. The nice block placing sound is missing here. Okay, that's the first floor for this building. Then we finally go to the very first... Uh, to the great hay ball... hay bale? Whatever. And then we can start with the roof. But before we do that, we uh, first make the, the the yeah the basic outlines. So you have um, you have two rows of hay balls. Then here one more time, and then the other rows are made out of normal one block hay rows. The same can be made here at the back. So like this. Two blocks, one block, one block. And these helping blocks can be destroyed. And then we can start with the roof. I make it always this way that, that I first place here the hay balls. So that I can easily place the hay balls in front. Because as you can see here they are uh, sensitive where they are placed. If they are placed in front of a block then it's showing in this direction and that's the way we want it. So it, we do it this way then we can just um, destroy these blocks here and then it's rather easy to make the rest. So just fill the, fill the whole area here with these kind of blocks. And I think it's already rather nice. Because I like these these hay roofs. So great if you have them. It gives us a really and the one and the really good material feeling. Because if you're uh, serious then most of the roofs 
for poorer people were made by this hay and not like I make it in most of the buildings with wood. So wood roofs were rather expensive I think because you have to make all those yeah what are they things called in English hmm, don't know. In German it's called something like Schindeln and yeah, maybe you know the English translation for it, then you could just let me know it. Or maybe you're wondering what people are using really wood for roofs, then yeah, they used it. It was a rather cheap material and it had a rather long lifetime, so they weren't completely uh, eroded after one year. Yeah, they had some time before this happened. Okay, then here we add one more timber at the back side, the very same, and the wall is then just filled in this way. So we have a small little window right on each side. Um, great. Oh, where did I go? Um, let me see that the correct way I did. Maybe I'm... yeah, maybe that's a bit different to the version I made, but yeah, use either version if you like the one, then you lose, use this one or whatever. So maybe just jump back to show you the other version. I think I have just filled here the whole area with blanks, yes, right, and put a flower box in front of it. Yeah, that's, that's up to you what you like. Okay, fine. Then we jump back, get one more time creative and build here the other roofs. So above this small connection floor I have, first of all, I start right here with the roof and two rows fit and then I turn up to just uh, one, one block per row. Also, one height level per row. At the back, uh, we make it in this way somehow. It looks a bit strange, isn't it? Did I make it in the same way at the normal house? Let's see. Let's get to this. And yeah, I did it in this way. Okay, I made it a bit different, but that here is just a mistake, if you are right. Yeah. Okay, fine. Then we get creative back and our things here. So we start here making this helping things. Then we can just place the roof. Replace them with the correct direction. Fine. And we also start at this point with the lower roof. So exactly like here. Then we need here a distance of two, and then we connect it with just one hit, uh, with just one block hit layer. So it looks like this. At the back is the very thing, so two blocks, then one, one, and we are at the top. Great. Now let's make this one more thing with this helping hay balls, so we can easily place the other blocks right behind us after it in this way so you see this roof is a bit um, other a bit other kindly shaped like this one but that's it's nice it's a bit of uh, a bit a bit of another thing and different things are always a bit better. So you have some some sort of differences in your roof or house. That's always a nice thing to have. Makes it a bit more interesting. So that's this roof. And I'm wondering, did you already build some houses with these hay roofs or didn't you have the impression that hay is a good material for it? 
Let me know it. I would, I would really like to hear it. Or did you already build a lot of hay roofs? Maybe not with these hay bales, which are just in this last patch available since the last patch. And yeah, whatever I've just asked, then leave a comment and uh, yeah, I would like to know it. And yeah, this wall is just made with this kind of stuff, so we have a walkway here. Maybe for uh, that you can store at this point of the roof something like in. Ah, and I don't want to forget it before we finish. Um, if this video is getting 100 likes, then I'm going to make an interior tutorial for it. So if you want an interior tutorial, then get a like or leave a like. It would be really nice to have it. Maybe that's a kind of good idea, right? Okay, and so don't forget, if you want an interior tutorial, then leave likes. Great, we are done with the basic shape. Now we can go forward for the for some um, decoration thing, uh, things, which I rather find nice. So for example, um, these things with the hay directly above windows can be made like this here. So I, I rather find it quite nice. So it's some sort of a sun uh, blocker. It's really great. So then, after all, we can also get our very useful flower boxes. Oh no, I need this. Ah, damn it. Uh, our very beloved flower boxes. For example, you could place them like this here. Surround them by the usual uh, trap doors. And putting some nice flowers into it. Like this. Yeah, uh, it's getting dark, this isn't good to have. So you can place here flower boxes. Also at these spots here. Somehow like this. Leaving plants into it. And don't forget to add the windows, but that's, that's an easy task and you can just do it by yourself. I'm trusting in you. So then a few more flower boxes right here. And also uh, here. No, not here, but yes. So maybe you're wondering when I put down these flowers, so the uh, yellow one and the different ones. That's up in the texture pack that uh, some random sort of placing. So the yellow block, uh, yellow flower has some some shapes, and the red also, and they differ from spot to spot. Um, what else? Maybe you could add here some sort of a crane-like thing, which is carrying some heat ball up to the storage room. And yeah, maybe that's the interior is just for an interior tutorial. So one more time, if you like an interior tutorial for it, then leave a, uh, a like. If we can get 100 of it, then I will make one. I think that's not a hard task or too hard task. That's just up to you. Mm. Well, I think we are finished at this spot. So you have now seen the idea with the hay roofs, which is a rather nice idea. It feels very medieval and you should consider it to use it at your buildings too, if you are at least in a poorer area or at the land. Then this kind of stuff is a really good idea. Ah, maybe before I don't forget it, you can even add here this kind of thing. Uh, at the back, at the front. Yeah, do I miss more details? Maybe you can add here flower boxes too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. And I hope you liked this tutorial, as always. And then. See you in the next one.
Right, um, we could also add some dawn. Pick up one. There's a dawn. Then we could make all this stuff around the uh, floor.